you obviously went on to become huge. I mean, you're, you're like still synonymous with the woman with the best ass in the industry, like ever. I feel like everybody is always compared to you. Um, how does, I mean, like, I don't know, does that surprise you? And like, do, how did you feel about your ass before you came into porn? You know, I've always, you know, it's like my best friend. I got to take it everywhere with me. So I can't really be mad at it. I think growing up, um, I definitely saw that it got me a lot of attention. Um, sometimes at the beginning, it was very, it was negative. People making fun of you. I mean, like, oh, like, oh, I can see your ass walking, you know, from in front of you kind of thing. And so I didn't really know how to feel like that, but feel about that. So for me, I feel like I've always made jokes to be like, make it feel like, lighthearted. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of fed into that and I just never really cared. So I just took it and ran with it. Mm -hmm. So I was always comfortable in my body, even from a young age and embracing all those things. Um, and then I just, you know, it, I think that for me, especially getting into the industry, um, there wasn't a lot of big booty girls at the time. The very, uh, there was like, um, Brianna Love, and I can't remember drawing a blank of the first one that everyone compared me to, but I don't, it'll come to me towards the whole time, but it was always that. So there wasn't a lot of people to compare me to. So mm -hmm. I think for me, when I hear like, oh, people always talk, look up to my ass, it's kind of silly to me because I just don't think of it like that. Mm -hmm. Very honored, but I don't, I'm like, it's just my ass. But yeah. it's one of those things where I feel like there's, my whole career I've always been like, there's classifications of booties. There's little big booties, there's big booties, and then there's big, big booties. And everybody's booties are very great when their own body. I feel like people sometimes shooting with me earlier on was like, oh, I don't want to be by her. My butt's going to look small. But I'm like, but you look great in your own sense. It's just different sizes, you know? Yeah. I mean, did you ever feel that you had to learn to embrace like a big butt? Because I think you kind of started around the cusp when like curvier girls were starting to be more embraced because, you know, before it was always like really thin women were like the ideal. And I think now that like, we're really embracing curves and like, you know, big butts and stuff like that. Did you ever feel like that wasn't the ideal when you first started? I definitely know it wasn't the ideal. And that's why for me coming into it was because I was so confident in my body and being from Texas and being a curvier girl, I just embraced it. So for mm -hmm. me, it was like, I used to always make jokes like, oh, I'm the girl that can eat cheeseburgers on set or like, oh, you know, it's where some girls like well, they would starve themselves because they felt like they had to be a certain way that I just always just was just myself. So it just came natural because I didn't know any other way to be. And then along that came with, oh, you have a big ass or, oh, you're going to be like butt movies, like kind of thing. So I didn't really know what that was. I just was never around different type of people that didn't look like me until I came to LA. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. So maybe that's like me and my experience growing up in LA versus you and your experience growing yeah. up in Texas where I mean, like that was always. You definitely like knew like the porno typical type, you know, it's like, you know, no boobs. It was like super skinny, super blonde hair. And then it became the fake boobs and mm -hmm. like the blonde hair, like that kind of thing. But everything was always generalized. as tiny, tiny females. And I'm just, I'm not that. Mm -hmm. And then when I first even got in the business, um, there was people that were trying to make me feel bad about it, I think, but I didn't really know at the time. I was being like, oh, well, your, your value is less than because you're not this. And I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense to me because I'm actually doing more than what these people are doing. So it's the same or if not more. Yeah. Um, so it's like really kind of fighting for that because the people try to make it like, oh, you're too big or you weigh too much or you this. And I'm like, well, I'm comfortable in my body. I'm not, I don't need, no one said that I need to be on a diet to be in porn. Yeah. And, um, so I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. And so I was very adamant about standing my ground in that. And I think that's also why I've gotten really far is because I haven't had people sway my opinion. It's been what I've wanted to do through my career. Yeah. And that's powerful. You know, I mean, being able to love and accept yourself as you are is, is hard sometimes. And so being able to come into the industry with that kind of confidence. And I feel like that shows on camera and I feel like that shows so much for you. I mean, every photo that I've ever seen of you is so powerful. Like you definitely come across as a woman who's like, I am who I am. Like I love who I am. And I feel like people really respond to that. Thank you. I feel like for me, it was the biggest thing was I always said in the beginning, it was like, go big or go home. If I'm going to do it, people are like, you know, you're going to do this. And people are gonna always going to always, always going to be out there. And it's true. And that's why I had to make a conscious decision. But I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to be the best at what I'm going to mm -hmm. do. Because if not, like why do it at all? Right. So what made you decide to actually get into porn in the first place? Um, you know, it wasn't a decision that I think that I like aspired to be in porn or anything like that. My, my situation was very different at the time. Reality porn was very new and it was like uh, the whole Shane's world type thing where they were going 
they had already done, I don't even know what their titles was because I never even watched porn, which is funny enough. But um, so I didn't really know what these things were or what reality porn was either. Um, but I got approached um, by somebody that they were doing basically a line called College Amateur Tour, trying to get girls from colleges to do scenes that had never done them before. Um, so I kind of like fell into that whole thing. And then at that point, I didn't think that I would ever do porn. I thought it was like a one and done type thing. It was just like a girl that liked to have sex in college and I needed the cash. And I was like, why not? I'd fuck him anyways. Mm -hmm. So we late or we kind of continued, um, speaking with each other. And then within the next like two months or so, cause at this time it was DVDs. So I did it in October of 2006, but it wasn't released until February of, or no, probably like later than that in 2007. So it was out there, but it wasn't out there. Mm -hmm. um, and then we stayed, I stayed in contact with the guy and then he was like a company called Bang Bros wants to shoot you. So he's like, would you fly to Miami? So I flew out there in February of 2007 and I shot for Ass Parade. And then with them, with the kids of real, I mean, uh, internet porn, the next day they or the next week they put a Monday, they do every release. They released that. I was already back in school. And then everybody knew that I did porn because everybody watched Ass Parade, which I didn't know everybody watched porn. <laughs> so it was like, then there was like my ex-boyfriend made these like this forum on Facebook was like, do you know a bartender that now is a porn star? Like trying to like bash me and all this stuff. And so I was just like, you know what? This isn't the place for me. I would rather go to a place where I feel understood and seen and not feel ashamed because I am a sexual person and I want to do what I want to do. Because all of you people are doing that for nothing and mm -hmm. y'all are fucking each other and doing all these things for free and yeah. I'm a mindset I'm a business mindset of women always so I was like if I'm gonna do it go big or go home Miss Texas hasn't gone home yet so you know. <laughs>